You hear it. We are back now with Taylor Swift's battle taking on the new owner of some of her old music, blasting manager Scooter Braun for buying the master recordings of some of her biggest hits. Swift is now claiming that Braun bullied her for years. ABC's Chris Connolly is joining us from Los Angeles with the latest on this. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Cecilia. Yes, yeah, strong words from Taylor Swift in the wake of a nine-figure sale of her master recordings, music she created and performed, but, th but that, like so many recording artists, she does not own. Oh, it's war. Taylor Swift holding nothing back as the man who signed her at age 15 sells her life's work. Six albums worth of master recordings, what she's calling all the music I ever made to Scooter Braun, high profile manager of such singers as Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, and once Kanye West, with whom she has storied beef. Calling the deal my worst case scenario, the 29 year old Swift roasting to an absolute crisp the 38 year old Braun who just acquired her former label Big Machine and so many of her deeply personal recordings for $300 million. In a searing online post, Swift writing, all I could think about was the incessant manipulative bullying I've received at his hands for years. Like when Kim Kardashian orchestrated an illegally recorded snippet of a phone call to be leaked and then Scooter got his two clients together to bully me online about it. That's referring to a 2016 call between Swift and Kanye West in which he tried to get her to sign off on lyrics he wrote about her in his song Famous. Swift maintains she never okayed Kanye using the derogatory word to describe her. Yeah, I mean, what, go put on the line, better. Swift also attaching a photo of Braun Weston Bieber that the sorry singer had once posted online with the caption, Taylor Swift, what up? Swift sharing the post, saying, this is Scooter Braun bullying me when I was at my lowest point. He's about to own all the music I ever made. Then continuing, my musical legacy is about to lie in the hands of someone who tried to dismantle it. The bombshell post splitting the entertainment industry down the middle overnight. Singers Tadric Hall and Halsey siding with Swift, the hashtag we stand with Taylor trending. Coming to Braun's defense, Bieber himself, apologizing to Swift for his own long ago post. Adding in part, Scooter has had your back since the days you graciously let me open up for you. For you to take it to social media and get people to hate on Scooter isn't fair. It can surprise many to learn that even such top artists as Taylor Swift typically do not own their master recordings, and it's caused conflict before. During a battle with his label in 1993, Prince wrote Slave on the side of his face while changing his name to an unpronounceable symbol, telling Rolling Stone, if you don't own your masters, your master owns you. What's different this time is how publicly it's being played out among one of the biggest stars in the entire world and two very powerful music executives. On Sunday, Swift also ripping into her former label chief, Scott Borchetta, who sold her masters, saying he knew her feelings about Braun. He knew what he was doing. They both did, controlling a woman who didn't want to be associated with them. Big Machine Scott Borchetta putting up a post of his own Sunday night defending his actions. Taylor had every chance in the world to own her master recordings, he said in part. She chose to leave. He also included correspondence with Swift, suggesting their business split was amicable. Cecilia? Complicated all this, but Chris, I think the big question right now is what happens with all her future music? Well, the future music she says she will own. It's coming out, I guess, the end of August, Lover. And those two new singles that have come out will also be her music to own. So something different for Taylor Swift going forward. All right, Chris Connolly, thanks so much. Oh, quite the battle. Yeah. Beebs, mm -hmm. Taylor Swift erupting on Twitter. Ooh. A lot going on there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.